Hi everyone, Abhishek here and welcome to Key to Blogging. And in this video, I will show you how you can use the online video editor and edit your videos through browser. So as you can see, here I am using the flexclip.com and here we will see a lot of templates like this and you can use this template and just edit it within minutes. And here we will see a lot of rich animated elements and here we will get a lot of royalty free stock medias like stock photos, stock videos and here you can easily edit your videos using this tool and here you can make slideshow and you can also take screen recording videos within the browser. So let's check how you can use this online video editor. So here you have to click on the sign up free button. So I will click on login here and I will log in with my Google account. Okay, now I am logging to my account and these are the projects that I have already created and here you will see a lot of options to start with. So let me just scroll down and search for some interesting options like here you will get some interesting intros and let me just click on see all and here as you can see these are the intros that you can create easily by just changing the text or by changing the images you can easily create an intro for your channel and if you want to design a sales marketing videos or any other purposes then you can use the flexclip.com so here you will see business intro promo and sale slides show real estate corporates so let's let me just open a pre-existing intro here so let me just click on edit so this is how the editor looks like and let me just play the intro for you. So this is the intro that I have created using the flex clip and here you can simply search for your videos. So here you can simply search for term like intro. And here you can choose any of the template from here so let me just use this template so i will just click on here and i will click on the plus icon now the template is added in our timeline so let me just play this first so you can easily edit it by just clicking on the logo button and you can simply upload your logo using this icon and you can double tap it and you can change the text from here and here you can easily change the image so here you can change the background so here you can change the background from the image so i don't want to remove the background from here so let's click on here and let me just change the zoom position so let me just change the position to something like 100% now I can adjust the exposure contrast brightness of the video and here you can change all the settings using this adjust button and you can also animate it like zoom in effect zoom out effect move from the top or move from the right so these are the animation that you can use in this section now let me just delete the first one and let's click on go back and i can simply just edit it in the full mode now let me just go to the media section and here you can upload the image from your local computer or you can record your computer using a webcam or the record screen now let's delete this option from here and let me just delete this and let me just remove the photo and i can use a background image here so i can just simply click on photos and here you can select any of the background images or you can search for that image so let me just use this image so i will click on plus and as you can see the images is added in the background so i can then just click on this option and i can change the fill option or you can use the fit option or fill option like this and click on ok so now the image is added let me just add a background to this text so i can do that 
by just going to the elements tab and here i can use a shape so let me just click on see all and here as you can see these are the shapes that you get so let me just drag it from here and i can just increase the size a little bit and it will show this so let's click on this option and i can just click on this option and make it to backward and i can again click on backward and as you can see now it is fit and here you can use some animated shapes like this and you can also use some arrows or you can use any different elements so let me just scroll down and as you can see these are the elements that we get so let me just click on business element from here and as you can see these are the different options so if i want to add it in this timeline then i can simply click on here and let me just click on play and as you can see the animated elements is added in this video so here you will get a lot of animated elements using this tab and you can also use emojis and you can also use some overlay effects so let me just click on the overlay effect like this so let me just delete it from here or i can simply add a background so i will click on background from here and i can use gradient background or you can use any of the background from here so let me just use a plain background so i will click on plus now i will go to the overlay section and i will use one of the overlay from here so just click on overlay and as you can see the overlay is now added so let me just play this like it so here you will get a lot of overlay option like this so in this way you can design your powerpoint presentation more interactive so let's click on back and here you will see some title overlays so if i don't want to add this section then i can just select it and delete it now let me just use this title overlay and as you can see the title overlay is added and here i can double click on it and i can change the word so i can simply type like subscribe so if this content is helpful then make sure to hit the like button and do subscribe youtube vlogging okay now let's go to the branding section and here we will add a branding to this image so let me just add an input branding like youtube blogging and i can reduce the size a little bit so it will add a branding to the top or you can change the position like this and you can also add your own logo as a branding so i will use a text here and you can also export the content so let me just delete this section from here and i will delete this section from here and let me just export this video so in free version you will get the standard quality and good quality and in plus version you can get 1080p version so let me just click on export here so it will take some time to export the footage so let's wait okay now the video is exported to our computer you can also share the link so that other users can also use this video or you can also embed this video in your web page now let me just close it now let me just go to the home page and with this tool you will get some cloud storage so let me just click on the cloud storage option and here you will get 100 GB of cloud storage using this tool. So I hope you got the idea how the flex clip online video editor works. And if you have any doubt regarding this, then you can ask me in the comment section. And if you want to make videos online, then you can consider this tool. And if this content is helpful to you, then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Key2Blogging. Thank you.